those lyrics right there just really is this song about God and just like that we're back on beats of the heart lyrics of the soul we're back for another night wish reaction today I'll be doing romanticide I'm really looking forward to there were a lot of people in the comments who were looking forward to me seeing this song so I'm looking forward to seeing it also so yeah just going off of my initial thoughts of seeing the title romanticide I have the idea that the song will be about a romantic relationship or a relationship of love love and hate normally when we add the letter C I D E to the end of a word it uh, symbolizes death so I see this relationship isn't going to last and just a couple examples of what I just said with adding the C I D E to words we have algicide the substance for killing algae biocide the destruction of life decide killing a god feticide destruction of a fetus Phalericide, a substance of killing phalari. Phyllicide, killing of one's child. Fratricide, killing of one's brother. Fungicide, a substance that destroys funguses. Patricide, killing of your parents. So on and so forth. It's, it's how the English language works. So I, I, I see that title telling a lot of the story in the song, just from seeing the title itself, without even seeing any lyrics or the song itself. All right, so let's get into it right now, and uh, this is Nightwish Romanticide. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we're ready. There's Floor. Make sure it's got banging again. voice there is a, uh, uh, it just sounds friggin awesome lyrics right there just really is this song about God and how the humans and the romance between God and the humans per se the love between God and the humans and how the humans have destroyed the thought 
and memory and the, that love of God through all different beliefs and, you, you know, whatever. But that line just really stood out to me. You know, I... Uh, destroying all my creation. Like, unless it's some kid playing Legos or something, you know, but I don't, really don't think that's what she's talking about. All right. Sorry for stopping, guys. <laughs> That guitar. Sorry for stopping it. It was, it was just. I wasn't expecting him to start singing. I was expecting Floor to start singing, and then like, I heard his voice, and it just threw me off. I'm go I'm gonna back that up. <laughs> but I like his voice too, and belting out those lyrics. All right, let me go back. A bit. I like them both going. I love the sound at the end there as they were both screaming. It, I don't know what it did, but it just, it, it like echoed and reverbed so much that it just sounded like it echoed off into oblivion just to emanate everywhere as sound. It, it, it was awesome. did really enjoy that and like before and like you all said every single song has been different it has had a different feel it has had different emotions and that one was no different and what I said before about the song being about God and God is the one that is singing these lyrics God is the one that is preaching the words that are in this song the lyrics that are in this song and it became more evident when the guy started singing and the lyrics I'm sorry I don't know his name offhand um, and the lyrics he was saying and I almost got the feeling that the words that Floor was singing the lyrics that Floor was singing were God speaking to the humans and the lyrics that the guy was speaking were, was the devil speaking to the humans and it 
there is so much thought behind these sentiments of good and evil. And we can break it down to religion, our personal thoughts, whatever, philosophy, beliefs. It all comes down to the same thing in the end. And bad, evil, you know, it always gets related to the devil. And everything good gets related to God. And yes, as, as a creation, I would say us humans are the most dis destructive to the natural plan if there is a plan of God, um, which I, I do believe there is. Um, not a religious person, but I do, I do believe in God, and I do believe there is a plan that has been set out, and it's a plan that has the power to change whenever it wants through the power. I'm getting a little off topic on the song here, but yeah, that's pretty much what I, I, I get from that song. Like, I, I was expecting a love song, and in a sense it was. In a sense, it was a love song, but a different kind of love song, because it was speaking of the love that God has for us and we have for Him, but because we have no way of knowing that God in a personal, or in a 100% proving way, all we have is faith. You know, I'm, I'm just looking at the lyrics here, and... I do see there is a human aspect speaking in the lyrics, per se, to God, to, to the power, the God, the devil. Um, there is a human aspect in here, so it's almost like there, there's different aspects of the human speaking, God speaking to the human, and, and per se, the human, I, I don't know if the human that is portrayed here is an individual or just the representation of all humans. There is definitely elements of human thoughts, God's thoughts, and also the devil's thoughts. And the devil's thoughts may just be our own thoughts. Like, that's what we have to understand, that, that side of that equation with the positive and negative God and the devil. The, the devil only exists inside of our thoughts. And only we have the power to listen to those thoughts, or not. The same way, when we have thoughts from God, we have the power to do that good or not do that good. Good, really enjoy. I, I do really look forward to breaking down these lyrics in, in another video for you guys. Because this is the kind of stuff that I love. Like, I, I love talking about God as a whole, not you know, any one one view or aspect or perspective of it. I like to view it as a whole, just like everything else. All the thoughts of humans have been built up since the beginning of time, since language and writing and even before that. And those thoughts have been passed on for thousands of years to us. And to think that those, the thoughts about God in our world can't evolve as our knowledge evolves, it is something I never understood. But I do love talking about this kind of stuff. I don't know whether people like hearing what I have to say, but when I break down these lyrics, I, you, you will get more sentiments on this kind of stuff from me because that is what this song is about. So that is what I will give you, is what is in the song and the lyrics. I really like what I'm seeing here. I really enjoyed the song. It had a very, very upbeat. There were there were hard hits. The, the having the vocals of the, the the guy in there was was really nice too. Um, I am going to find out his name. I just didn't want to do it in the middle of doing this reaction. I, I have all their names saved in a file here on my computer too, and I I should have looked it up before I freaking started so I could talk about this stuff properly. But I'm not going to say I'm sorry, because I know you guys don't want to hear that. <laughs> but I really did enjoy Romanticide very much. It surprised me, like I said, because I thought it was going to be about one thing. And then just from hearing a couple of the lyrics, it told me completely different. And it built on it, because as it went through the lyrics, you know, it, it told me more. And then even as I look at them now, it's 
they're speaking more and more and more to me. I know it wasn't uh, as super crazy of a reaction as, uh, but I, that song did blow me away. I, I I was very intrigued by the sounds, the lyrics, the guitar. The guitar playing was friggin' amazing. When the guy was uh, playing like just up at the neck of the guitar, like that. That's something I've never seen before. Like I haven't seen so like tons of. Uh, people playing electric guitar like crazy and solos and all that stuff I've, I've seen some but I've never seen anybody like just play up at the the neck of the guitar like that and I, I really enjoyed that and then even in the crowd there was I noticed there was uh, somebody who had like a, uh, a little stuffed animal guitar kind of thing not, not an animal because it's a guitar but it was like a stuffed a stuffed guitar and they were bringing up on the neck of it too at the same time while he was doing it I thought it was really cool um, that's all I got for this reaction on Romanticide I look forward to the next one Nightwish has every single song so far I have enjoyed Ghost Love Score was my favorite um, and it was probably because of the the emotions and feelings that it did give me and I'm sure that's why that is one of the number one reacted to songs out there by, by Nightwish because it is such an amazing song and it is a different kind of masterpiece, Ghost Love Score. But I do love these other songs and I do love the different volumes of contrast in them with the different feels, the different stories, the different, you know, it's great. I do enjoy it and I want to thank you all for uh, leading me down this journey. You can let me know what song you want me to do next. I was trying to follow the set list, but I noticed there weren't official videos for all the songs, so I didn't exactly want to... Um, I decided not to do that. So, I let me know which one you would like to see next. I'm, I'm saving... There are a bunch of songs I'm saving, so ease me in, but uh, we've done Ghost Love Score so far, Deep Chest of Wonders, and Story Time, and Romanticide now. So let me know which one you guys want to see next from WAC in 2013. You know I will be back as the beats of our heart and lyrics of our soul play on forever. Thank you for watching. Bye.